Min Young made her television debut in the third season of Singles Inferno, and it's safe to say that she shocked fans by being a completely different person off screen. Pretty early on in the series, she connected with Lee Jin Sok, who very conveniently also had an eye on her since day one. Her connection with Jin Sok already caused a few issues for her reputation, as fans were globally commenting that they didn't like how she was treating him. From the start, Jin Sok was a one-woman man. He made it very clear that Min Young was the one for him, but at the beginning, she wasn't reciprocating this. She showed a lot of indecisiveness, which viewers thought was super annoying. What was especially off-putting is when she got mad at Jin Sok for putting all of his eggs in her basket. She explained she didn't want the others to treat them like a couple, and he understood. People stated that while it's okay to keep your options open, since it's a dating show after all, it's not okay to play with people's feelings. Fans expressed that they didn't like the tone she used towards him. She'd continuously tease him with a very expectant undertone, while putting in minimal effort herself. Not to mention that she basically sibling-zoned Jin Sok, which was incredibly off-putting to a big part of the audience. A fan argued that if a guy had treated a girl in the same way Min Young treated Jin Sok at the beginning, the public would have been outraged. Things took a turn for the worse after episode 5, which is when Choi Minji joined the show and put Min Young's connection with Jin Sok at risk. Although Min Young was a big advocate for getting to know others at first, she immediately backtracked after Minji joined the island. She acknowledged that Minji sounded exactly like his type, and that definitely got under her skin. When Jin Sok asked her if it made her nervous, she initially denied it. Eventually, she admitted that his date made her uneasy, which made her look like a major hypocrite in the eyes of of viewers. By now, it was clear to everyone that she really just didn't have a clear goal. She wanted to get to know everyone and hated the fact that Jin Sok had his eyes set on her. But when Minji entered the inferno, she got annoyed at Jin Sok for finally getting to know someone else. She had every right to want to explore her options, but she should have allowed Jin Sok to do the same without making a fuss. He never guilt tripped her for wanting to talk to the others, so fans believed it was incredibly unfair of her to act that way towards him. There was a general consensus among viewers that she could have handled the situation better and that the approach she decided to go for made her look immature and childish. She made things worse for herself by grilling Jin Sok about his date with Minji. Fans couldn't believe how rude she was being as she was practically punishing him for going on a date by throwing spiteful comments in his face. At some point, even the panelists were embarrassed for her, which showed the gravity of the situation, but this now clearly hints at some of her biggest insecurities off camera, and we'll get to that in a bit. After the drama with Minji quieted down a bit, everything seemed to be going smoothly for Min Young. However, it turns out that behind the scenes, everything was a big disaster. The hate she was receiving for her actions in the earlier episodes got so out of hand to the point her family had to interfere. Fans claim that they saw her family step up to defend her in the comment section of a preview video. Netizens didn't only tear her apart for her behavior on the show, they also attacked her for her looks, more specifically her weight. She was being harassed and made fun of for being overweight, which is absolute nonsense since she's literally a fit Pilates instructor instructor, fans were starting to get concerned and argued that although she wasn't on her best behavior at the beginning of the show, that doesn't excuse the massive hate she was receiving. Besides, reality shows are known to be heavily edited, so maybe we only saw some of her worst moments. The public believed that the haters in question jumped at the opportunity to be misogynistic. Fans stated that Lee Guan He, who was painted off as the villain of the show for being rude towards the female contestants, didn't receive half as much hate for his actions. In the end, he ended up becoming the star of the show, which just shows that women are always shunned for their smallest mistakes and Min Young didn't deserve such harsh treatment from the public. Despite their rocky beginnings, Jin Sok and Min Young were the first couple to escape the inferno together. They left the island hand in hand, showing that their relationship bloomed beautifully, even though there were tears involved at the beginning. Quite a few months have passed since the cast wrapped up filming, so the real question is whether their relationship withstood the test of time. In an interview, producer Kim Nahyun revealed that it's very likely they're still in touch. Explaining why, she said, I see them interacting on Instagram, so I think it's safe to say that they're still in contact because they spent eight nights and nine days on an island together where they not only built relationships but also friendships, they are probably still close. Recent activities prove that Jin Sok and Min Young are indeed pretty close. During their final moments in the inferno, she said, this is nerve-wracking. Thank 
thank you for taking such good care of me here. This wouldn't have been an actual inferno if I didn't have you for the ride. She asked Jin Sok to bake her some bread in the bakery he owns. Turns out he kept his promise, as she was recently spotted visiting his cafe. She posted a picture of a cake on her Instagram story and made sure to tag him to let the whole world know they're still in touch. Not to mention that she uploaded a brand new picture of them together and even reposted fan posts about them. They were also photographed together at one of Guan He's games at the beginning of January. In an attempt to find out more information about her relationship status, fans came across some other unsettling information about Min Young. By stalking her Instagram page, they realized how different she looks in the pictures she posts compared to what she looked like on the island. Some fans already noticed this when the show was still airing. As they commented, the girl on her Instagram wouldn't even pass as her sister. The drastic difference in her looks is caused by the heavy photoshopping she uses in her pictures. If you scroll through her Instagram, you can tell that she doesn't look the same in any of her pictures. It's very obvious that she adds a filter to nearly all of her posts, including her videos. It seems like she tries to make her waist look smaller and her chest look bigger. She also heavily edits her face, often making her eyes look larger and her nose bridge a lot smaller. On top of that, she smooths her skin out a lot, which makes her look more like a doll and less like a real person. In most pictures, her head looks very small compared to her body. This is kind of a trend in South Korea and has everything to do with the brutal beauty standards they live by. In Korean culture, having a smaller head is often seen as more attractive. This explains why Min Young and many others go to crazy lengths to make their heads appear smaller. Even though the editing is extremely obvious, it's become such a common practice that netizens don't even find it weird or off-putting anymore. It's even legal to have a photoshopped ID picture in South Korea, which really shows how normalized the photoshopping is there. But it doesn't mean that singles Inferno viewers weren't shocked when they saw Min Young interacting off screen. Min Young has been editing her pictures for a while now, but it only became a hot topic after she appeared on the show. Viewers immediately took to social media to attack her for it, calling her a fraud for looking like a completely different person on the show. Fans claimed that the amount of Photoshop she uses is ridiculous, especially now that everyone has seen what she really looks like. They also called her out for being inconsistent with her editing, stating that if she's going to use Photoshop, the least she can do is edit her pictures consistently to make it less obvious. She was even under fire for Photoshopping a childhood picture, since that's definitely unnecessary. Soon enough, Min Young also found herself embroiled in plastic surgery rumors. Netizens were looking for before and after pictures to see if she'd gotten any work done. She has never spoken up about it though, but viewers definitely believe she went under the knife in the past. Although many people sent her malicious comments over the photoshopping incident, there were still some fans who came to her defense. They called out those who attacked her insecurities in an attempt to protect her image. At the same time, her comment section on Instagram was filled with people telling her to tone down the editing. Most of the users had good intentions though, since they were telling her that she looks so much better without any of the filters. They were trying to convince her that she really doesn't need it, as her natural beauty is absolutely jaw-dropping. Min Young more or less acknowledged the controversy by liking a post of a user telling her that the real her looks so much better. Following the show's finale, she shared a picture of her in the cast and attached a very heartfelt caption to it. She wrote, I was so embarrassed watching my flaws and it made me want to try harder. I will become more like a docile sheep in the future. Fans didn't understand why she would say that about herself since objectively, the other contestants were much more problematic in comparison. In the end, most people started seriously pitying her. With the way she edits her pictures, it seems like she's extremely insecure about her appearance. Fans are worried she suffers from severe body dysmorphia since it really looks like she has a distorted body image judging from her posts. Even the pictures in which she's doing Pilates are edited. In one of them, you can see the distortion from the editing so clearly that it's almost painful to look at. The fact that she's a Pilates instructor probably contributed to her desire to look as perfect as possible. When you're promoting a type of fitness, it's important to look built, but this might just be taking it a notch too far. Fans were especially concerned that her heavy editing has something to do with the hate she received on the show. Speaking on this, a viewer commented, her body is insane on the show and she's gorgeous and she obviously doesn't need this much editing on her pictures, but then I've seen that people are calling her fat and ugly because of what happened on the show and it's just so sad. Although she edited her pictures even before she was on the show, the hate she received might have just made her insecurities worse. Fans argued that Min Young is not to blame for editing her pictures. They explained that Korea's beauty standards are just ridiculously strict, meaning anyone living under those circumstances would feel inclined to change their appearance online. Some people also pointed out that there seems to be an ongoing trend among East 
Asian beauty influencers to heavily edit their pictures. An online user elaborated on this and explained that it's been a common practice for South Korean influencers to make themselves look as fake as possible on their social media. The goal is to look like a plastic doll with weird proportions such as having wide shoulders, large hips, and an extra large chest. Ever since Min Young started gaining more attention for her editing, loyal fans have been showering her in love, telling her that she's gorgeous just the way she is. And we have to agree because she truly is stunning in real life without any filters on.